El Paso County commissioners say they could face difficult budget cuts if the state of Texas refuses to cover the costs for those arrested as part of Operation Lone Star. And they believe local taxpayers should not bear the financial burden of decisions made at the state level. CBS 4 at 530's Harrison Parker is live in downtown El Paso with a potential financial impact if the state doesn't pay up. That's right. Well, county officials tell me millions of dollars of public services could be on the chopping block if the state of Texas denies the county's request for help. Whatever funding we can get to help with the current expenses that we have, uh, we're glad to have that because we do need that financial assistance. As we've reported, the county says it's lost up to $20 million due to recent border smuggling arrests. As a result, County Commissioner Ileana Ogain says the county could face cuts to public programs, though they should be able to avoid layoffs. So layoffs, no, because really that is something that is the last possible option in any kind of situation. The county will do everything possible to get to that point, and I don't think we would get to that point, but we can certainly, um, we may have to certainly start thinking about a reduction of other types of services and programs. Officials say that by requesting funds, the county would have to comply by certain rules from the state, though officials say those are still unclear. Commissioner Olgain defended the county's decision to wait until now to request the funds. You know, we didn't know uh, the impact necessarily that these increased enforcement actions were going to have on the jail. We didn't know how long um, they would be going on for. Um, we didn't know if it was something that was only going to be temporary or not. One El Pasoan says the state should pay for its own inmates. Why would I pay for something that is, doesn't belong to us? We pay taxes, we pay everything here, and then besides that, we have to pay them? No way, I don't think so, and it's fair. Well, County Judge Ricardo Simoniego has not yet signed that disaster declaration. His office says they're dotting the I's and crossing the T's, but they still expect that declaration to be signed soon enough. I'm Harrison Parker reporting from downtown El Paso, CBS 4 at 530.